I remember that day when we went on our first date to the beach. Romantic walk, holding hands, drawing love hearts in the sand. I knew you would get an erection because I wore my posh Wellingtons for this special occasion. And as the moon controls the tide, I felt your heart pull to my side. We had a snuggle, shared a flask of bovril. The waves washed up a driftwood of used condoms, sanitary towels and human shite as we cuddled next to the sewage pipe. And floating in the wind through the cry of gulls was a discarded crisp bag. Ducking and diving in a bird-like race, it hit my face. I released my hat and shook my hair in slow motion like that woman from the shampoo adverts because you're worth it. You wrapped your arms tightly round my back. It was so cold it made my nipples stick out through a paddy bra, an arinit jumper and an ararat. You looked at me through my soggy eyebrows, wiped a rogue snotter from my nose and said, Angie, do you fancy a fish supper? I winced because my mascara had run and I looked like Alice Cooper. I said, I'm on a diet, so can we share it? There was something lovely about sitting in your car that cold, wet, Ayrshire day, salt air chat, lips feeding each other chips, wind nipped cheeks, a rosy glow, the heat from a fish supper, steaming up the windows, licking the vinegar off of each other's fingers, listening to the radio as the rain pelted off the roof of your Volvo. I looked at you, you looked at me, we looked out to the sea, and that's when we realised that seagulls are bams. Big flat feet like paddles in a bonnet of the car. Big yellow eyes and a satanic stare was a seagull the size of a pterodactyl. Squawking to all his seagull pals, chips, 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 chips. And from coast to coast, a swarm of rats with wings came spit firing in. Circle in the car in a gala skull strut, bamming us up. And you shouted with passion in a masculine fashion, Beat it, ya big stota. Don't you dare shite in my brand new motor. I saw red. Kill the beaky birdie, kill him dead. You put the car into reverse, there was a dunt. Fists full of feathers got stuck to the tires. You killed the seagull, Nolly's his pals, his mother, his lover, great big seagulls lying flat. I often regret telling you to do that, the car park plastered with the Ayrshire Seagull Massacre. I often think about that day, and I think about chips and love and seagulls and how they deserve to live in this earth as much as us. For they bring the seaside a certain charm, even though seagulls are bombs. Thank you.